you can create with our map tool. Uh, the Turner-Fairbanks intersection I just showed is a relatively simple intersection, um, having only eight real lanes and nine lanes in that particular matchup, in that particular mock-up. Um, but there is a, there's an intersection from New York I'd like to share, and I will switch back to the web browser to load that up. So if I navigate back to this file menu up here, and I go to Open Child Map, uh, I'll browse over to the particular map message I'd like to show. This map message is one of, when these tiles decide to load, there we go, one of the more complicated map messages I've seen built with our tool. It's in New York City at the intersection of Tillery and Flatbush. If I turn on the hybrid view, we can see the street names and whatnot. Um, this particular map message pushes the size limit of the message standard uh, with its intense number of lanes. I believe it has over 55, possibly up to 60 um, off the top of my head. Uh, it, it, in terms of its complexity and size, definitely is, is up there. Uh, you can see that it has many lanes grouped into uh, approaches. Uh, it has divergent lanes uh, for different flows of traffic. Uh, it's got all of the crosswalks mapped in. It's even got some of the, the side roads mapped in uh, because they're relevant to this particular intersection. Uh, it's got more diverging lanes down at this bottom corner here. Um, it's, there's a lot of detail packed into this particular map message uh, that makes it um, a challenge to develop, uh, but it, it shows kind of the, the depth of what the tool can support, that if it can build a, an intersection as, as complicated in this and correctly encode it and make sure that it uh, is represented correctly, um, then it's got uh, some sufficient capabilities to build a lot of different map messages. Uh, this being shown, uh, I would like to now do a brief demo of the map tools encoding functionality. Um, if I hop back to my slideshow for a second, um, just to introduce the next title. Um, 